guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Emily Jean if you haven't been here before. Today I'm actually gonna vlog. This is gonna be technically day two of being home quarantined and I didn't think I was gonna vlog because there's like not much to show and vlog while being at home all day. I was gonna do like separate sit down videos but it's actually really late at night. What time is it? My phone's under my camera. It's nine o'clock. It looks so bright in my room because my new camera I can like change the brightness on it while I'm filming which is so 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 much better and hopefully the focus is better than my last video. Anyways, you guys are probably like what happened to your hair? Like, it's short again. Obviously, you guys know I tape in extensions, and they were so grown out. I had them for probably, this was like my fourth round with having those tapes, and they were probably in for six or seven weeks, which is like way too far. I actually had a hair appointment yesterday, but I decided not to go because I'm in contact with like a place where there's a bunch of people and like my hairdresser like obviously working very close on me so I canceled that or I was just like I can't have these tapes in anymore they were so grown up that they kept like hanging out and they were just like so hard to style so we were gonna move the tapes up again one last time but again since I canceled that appointment I decided just to take the tapes out and have my short natural hair for a little bit until my weft comes in and until everything's back to normal and I can have that appointment, but that probably won't be for like another month or so. We will see. I just ran up to Walgreens actually to grab a few things that I needed to like do this little beautify thing. All out of fake tan. So I actually picked up a new kind of fake tan. I've been wanting to try the Bondi Sands brand. This is a fake tan that's at like drugstores like Walgreens. Most are like online or Ulta. One, I got the self tanning foam in ultra dark. I always get the darkest shade from like every brand. And then I normally don't get this, but I got the gradual tanning milk body moisturizer. So I thought this would be good to do over my tan to help it last longer. And this is like a gradual tanner in itself, which is cool. And then I got the mitt to go with it. So I'm definitely going to do this tonight. I'm very, very pale. Before I do that, I want to do a hair mask. So I picked this up as well. This is the Argon Oil Repairing Deep Conditioner Mask. Yeah, clean wet hair, massage into hair, leave on for 10 minutes. But I think instead I'm going to put it on my damp hair and put this shower cap on and wear it all night long because my hair is just like needing that extra oil and smoothness plus there's still like some glue left from my tapes because I took them out at home using like makeup remover oil so I didn't really know what I was doing but I need to get like the rest of this gunk out of my hair and I think that mask will like really soften it all up that is the plan I'm gonna go wet my hair a little bit more because it dried while I ran up to Walgreens really quick I literally just got back and then we will put the mask in and then we can do the little self tan. I just got my hair a little bit more damp and I thought this was a one time use but it actually looks like there's way more in there. It honestly feels so good though just to have like my natural hair. It's so much easier just to maintain and it feels so good on my head to like have those tapes out because they were getting really really annoying. I love my extensions but obviously like when they're not cared for right in the right amount of time they get pretty annoying. And I do love my short hair, so I'm just gonna go with it. And I'm excited to style my short hair tomorrow because I want to like do my makeup tomorrow and film some other videos for you guys. So I'll carry that this vlog into tomorrow. Okay, just tied it back in a little bun. Even like tying my hair back like this feels so good because with my tapes when they're grown up so much, you literally can't do like anything with them. I like doing ponytails, sleek ones. this on so I can sleep with this and my tan. I'll put you guys up here because I'm about to take this off. <laughs> Guys, I always do my face, hands, and feet with like a kabuki brush. So this one's just like a Morphe one. Do a pump of this. And I just quickly buff it. This smells amazing usually self tanner smells disgusting this smells like coconuts and like vacation i'm gonna finish off my body use the mitt for everything else and i will show you guys once i am done okay guys i just finished putting my tan on it's looking pretty good it's actually not looking as dark as normally it does when i put it on like from loving tan or saint tropez loving tan is definitely my by far my favorite brand for self tan so I'll link that down below 
and I'll link down the Bondi Sands products that I showed you guys. Also, pro tip, borrow your dad's or boyfriend's big t-shirts. They're like the best thing to put on over a tan while you kind of like air out when it's sticky. And then I'll wear like full pajama pants and stuff when I go to bed just because my bed's super white and I don't want to ruin it. So I will continue this vlog tomorrow morning when we just like have a full day doing stuff here and yeah. Hopefully my hair and the tan will look so much better in the morning. So I will see you guys then. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. I woke up about an hour ago and I actually just showered, washed my hair out from that mask. So it's feeling really, really sleek. And then I did rinse off my tan. So I didn't show you what it was looking like before. I was pretty dark this morning, but it actually looks like really really good my face isn't as dark because it just like comes off my face pretty fast um let me show you in the mirror it this way but it is quite dark and it looks really really good really smooth and then i did use that gradual lotion as well on top so that will probably take me like a week or so to figure out if i like it or not i am about to take off all my bedding because i had both the little dogs sleep with me last night and i want to like clean off my bed do all my sheets early in the morning to get that done with um and to help me like stay out of my bed then i also have to do all this laundry here just made my coffee here it is just with some cream and i'm gonna get started on like doing chores and stuff Hey guys, um, I've literally just all day been doing the most random stuff and I feel like it's so hard to stay on track. So I literally just folded a bunch of clothes. I've been like still cleaning. My bedding is drying right now. I threw in another load of clothes. Um, I put away a bunch of stuff, just cleaned up like a bunch of makeup and PR packages, organized it all. And I'm using this little like bar cart as like my organizer and just kind of place to like set stuff down. I always need like something to put all my random stuff or packages that come in so that's being used for that i'm still like getting used to being in this room um since this is like the smaller bedroom in my dad's house but like i said in a different video my younger brother took my old bedroom at my dad's house when i lived in the condo for a little bit so now i'm in this room and i'm just like making it work the furniture i already had i actually really really like it because it's so simple and small it actually makes my life like easier but yeah i'm sitting down right now to do my makeup and i actually set up like a little table in front of my window to do my makeup because it's better lighting and obviously i'm not going anywhere today but i just feel like i haven't put on makeup in so long now i have my fresh tan my hair feels so clean and good that i just want to do like simple little makeup and Kyle's actually coming home today from school. So I think we're gonna have like a little movie night and hang out tonight. So I decided to put on some makeup. But first I wanted to show you guys this new jewelry that I got in. I'm so obsessed. It is from the brand O-Rate and they're actually sponsoring today's video. So I'm really, really excited to be working with them. Um, the first piece that I got are these gold little hoops that kind of look like double hoops. They're so beautiful. And then the second piece that I got is this gold like banded ring. I'm obsessed with this ring. It's so shiny and gold. Both of them are so like classy, beautiful pieces. Their jewelry is such high quality. All of it is pure, real gold, even though some of their price points may not seem like it. Everything is made out of real gold and you can shower with this stuff, you can get it wet, you can sleep, you can cook, you can do everything while wearing the jewelry and it won't tarnish. So your money is really going 
the longest way and these are pieces you're going to have forever um, on top of that all this jewelry is ethically made in new york city which is amazing it's designed for women by women and i just like love everything they stand for another really sorry my camera's card got full like i was saying one of the other really really cool things about o-ray is every time you buy a piece from their website they actually give back to a child in need and they give a book to a child to further their education so it's really cool when brands um, can give back while they're still like focusing on growing themselves as well. So I'm just super super excited Obviously these pieces like speak for themselves They're so shiny and beautiful and real gold kind of New Year's resolution sounds kind of silly It's just to collect better higher quality pieces of jewelry that I'm gonna have forever and ever and that I eventually can pass down to um, Loved ones and things like that. I think jewelry like holds such a special place in people's heart and I think it's so worth spending the extra money on it um so yeah i just wanted to like show you guys that but i want to put some makeup on because i literally have just felt like so gross and unmotivated and i actually watched a video yesterday on like how to stay motivated while working from home because i know a lot of us are either transferred working from home or if you guys already work from home it's been really really hard and i i am so fortunate that i can work from home and my heart goes out to those who have lost jobs and are unable to actually work from home so i just feel like the best thing to do to make us feel a little bit better let's pull ourselves together i'm still of course in my comfy clothes but at least just having fresh hair little spray tan and putting on some makeup will make me feel better so i wanted to share this and use it on camera this is the elf matte putty primer this is like a super popular product on tiktok which is why i bought it um so i want to test out on camera supposedly it's like a dupe for the tatcha one is it tatcha the primer um, i need like a better little setup here i need like a little stool because i'm just sitting on my bed right now but we're gonna make it work so looks like this i know they had like an illuminating one as well but i wanted to try just like the normal one so i guess i'll just take my fingers in there Oh wow, I think I used too much. This feels weird. I don't really like the white cast it's giving my face. Wow, that's smooth. It's very thick. I think I needed probably a quarter of that amount just to fill in the pores right here, which is normally where I apply like filling primers anyways. We will see how that looks at the end and then also another product i got because of tiktok is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear julia haven swears by this foundation as well and i've already used it once um and i got it in a really dark shade so i've only used it the last time i had a fake tan so i haven't really been able to use it since it's so dark compared to my natural color but today i'm going to use it as well i don't have thoughts on it yet um i feel like this foundation i've seen a lot of people use it with a brush and i normally use a sponge so maybe i should try using a brush and i'm just gonna do a little tiny bit and dot this over my face because i still want to do like a pretty natural look i'm not gonna put mascara or a bunch of eyeshadow on i think like doing your makeup too will help me like i have to edit this video after and do like computer work and things like that it will help me not feel so lazy and it will help me like sit up at a desk and actually get some work done instead of like having no makeup on being in sweatpants wanting to get in my bed and this foundation is beautiful i really like how you can do such a thin layer of it like that was just one pump all over my face and it's not super full coverage but you can totally build this up to full coverage and it's like supposed to be known for its long wear I definitely want to get into doing some more at-home workouts while we are stuck at home for a while. So if you guys have any, like, let me know down below. Um, like, I have a mat that I could just, like, roll in my room and do some workouts because I've just been feeling so sluggish with not being able to go to the gym. And I was already, like, kind of behind on going to the gym because I was in Florida for a week. So I've just, like, been craving to work out. I just wish I could go to, like, a normal class, but by the way guys i don't even think i like talked about how you guys can get your o-rate jewelry so if you guys want to check out o-rate i'll have all the information down below and to receive 15 percent off your first order you can go to oratenewyork.com slash emily jean and use the promo code emily jean to receive 15 percent off so that is o-rate a-u-r-a-t-e new york.com slash emily jean to receive 15 percent off at checkout just put in the code emily jean 
I'll have all that information though down below so you can follow it a little bit easier and you can click the link and shop some of the pieces on there. So I'll also link the two pieces that I have directly if you guys want to see these, but they have so many other options on their website. So yeah, thank you to Alright for sponsoring this video. I'm like so obsessed with these and definitely will be repurchasing more product and pieces from them because it's just like such classy, timeless jewelry. Let's speed this up. Makeup is done. That was so fast. The foundation looks really, really good, and I really like that primer so far just from using it. Um, for bronzer and blush, because you guys always ask, I used my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is the medium one. If it wants to focus, this one. You guys always ask. This is the bronzer I always use when I have fake tan because it's like much more intense um i still used it pretty lightly today but it's still like just a rich color to go over fake tan and then for blush i used this tarte um amazonian clay and seduce these are just like staple blushes they last the longest they're beautiful colors yes for my lip liner i used a milani lip liner but not 09 spice i used 03 and natural it's like more pinky and a little bit lighter on top of the lip liner i wanted to use this product which i've been wanting to show you guys this brand doll 10 if you've ever heard of them they are like an indie makeup brand and they sent me like a huge package full of stuff which i actually let me know if you want to see a video on that i've actually used quite a bit of it already and i like a lot of it surprisingly i feel like no shade to like indie brands, but I feel like newer makeup brands sometimes just take a while to get a lot of good product out or there'll be like one good product that you find. But a lot of this stuff I've tried from Doll 10, I really, really like and especially this product. So this is like a double ended lip color. So it's a lipstick on one end and then the lip gloss on the other end and they're both so gorgeous. So I'm going to apply the lip gloss right now. Like I... Look how shiny it is, and it smells like vanilla. And I normally use the lipstick too. Like, I just love this. This is always in my purse, so I wanted to share that with you. It's in the shade Nude Beach. I'll have it linked down below. And then for highlight, I use this, like, Glossier Stick Highlighter. This is the Holoscope in the shade Quartz. This, like, autofocus has been taking so long. It keeps going on my face. There we go. That's what it looks like. I just curled my lashes, nothing special. And here's the look. I'm obsessed with my hair right now. It feels so healthy and just like feels good to have my natural hair, even though I want my long hair still. That's just going to be a process until I can actually go to the salon and get that fixed. So yeah, I'm going to pick up this little mess that I made here for doing my makeup in front of the window. And I'm going to make my bed, get that situated, vacuum a little bit, finishing up some cleaning. And then I got to edit this vlog and get this done for the day. <clears throat> I just found out that Kyle's literally like 10 minutes away from coming home and he's coming here. So I'm very, very excited. I thought he wasn't coming over till later. Um, so I'm glad I want to get my room like picked up and nice and pretty for when he comes home. Not that he would really notice anyways, but it just like makes me feel good to have it set up for him. So yeah, hopefully he can help me edit a little bit. He's like the best when it comes to that. And yeah, I'm really excited for him to come home. Obviously, it's been, like, really hard for him to decide to, like, stay in at school and coming home with everything that's going on. So, he also works up at school. So, he's going to come home just for the weekend for a little bit and kind of play it by ear. So, we will see. Okay. Okay. My bedding is not dry yet, so I wasn't able to get my bed done before he got here, but I have my TV from my condo that is at my dad's house in the family room, but I didn't have anywhere to like put it in my room, and I don't really use my TV that often. 
um, but since Kyle is here, I want to like get it set up in my room somehow so we can like use it tonight for a little movie night or whatever. Plus, I'll be able to use it when I want to use it. So I found a pretty inexpensive console table at Target that's on sale and we can like order and pick it up. So we're going to go do that and then Kyle can help me build it while I edit this vlog. So. We're gonna go pick that up. It's like a really sleek black table. It's actually one that I wanted to buy when I was at my condo. So it's like a front piece of furniture I'll probably have for a while. But it will just be like easy to set it up like just in front of my bed and put my TV on it just for when we wanna use it. And then I can like move it around and maybe put it over here when I'm not using it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna go do. I know we shouldn't be leaving, but we're just literally gonna go pick it up and Get that set up really quick. Ready? Ready. So this is the TV. The only problem is the comfort table is 44 inches wide. And as long as the legs, but they're shorter, right? They're like 42. 42. So it'll be like just perfect. Obviously this isn't like, this is just for temporary things. So yeah. Have your keys. Keys please. I've been wanting to show you guys these. Um, my dad got these from Costco and they are so good. They're like my new favorite thing. Oh, you ate your <laughs> pad thai? Pad thai. Yummy. I um, so these are like the Kirkland brand from Costco cold brew coffees and I like that they come in cans just because it's better than like a plastic bottle. But it's literally just straight black cold brew but it tastes so good plus i was up at state for a little bit kyle likes like more sweetener than i do so i drank a little bit and then i put like our normal creamer in the can and it tasted really good didn't it pretty good it tasted like the starbucks ones you get yeah and these you can get in a big pack i normally like to drink them just black because like obviously it's better for you and they just give you like a really good burst of energy so Blankets. I've probably bought at least 10 blankets from here in my life. I used to have this one. My dogs always steal them. Or my cat. See, we go to get something and then <laughs> ends up in the blanket section. I, but, like, what if I want one? But what if? Is the question get, always. I don't have a blanket on my bed. I just have like a comforter. I feel like I want like a blanket. <laughs> it's movie night. I'm getting fun. They're all like far away. Hmm? They're all like far away. Oh, what about that bookcase? It's like the same thing but has no shelves. I know, I'm hoping, I'm actually if it's lower that'd be good because I could put that in front of my windowsill. Like if it sat under my windowsill instead of that bar cart there, that'd be perfect. With a TV on it too? Well, I'd probably move the TV like when I'm not using it a lot, but I could still use the table for the shelving okay. to organize all my packages. Because right now I'm putting all my stuff on the that bar cart. How are you so good at that? Okay. We got the goods. Not really the one I wanted, but a little bit different. It might actually be better. So, we will see. Oh. Secured the back. 
and I made her do a price match for me. <laughs> Alright guys, I forgot to end this vlog, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description box and subscribe to my channel if you guys aren't. So I will see you guys very soon, and I'll probably vlog like tomorrow or something if you want to see the council table that we got. So, I love you guys. Bye!